Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson. As many of you know, Minnesota has just legalized gay marriage. I live in the city of Little Canada, Minnesota. And I was reading through their statutes the other day, and I found one that strikes me as a little bit homophobic. The statute reads as follows. 1201.020 Indecent Exposure Any person or persons who shall appear in any street or public place in said city an address not belonging to his or her sex shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. To me, this is an anti-homosexual law. Today, I'm at the City of Low Canada, City Hall, to seek answers to this law. Let's see what happens. Um, I was wondering if I could talk to a city council member. I don't know if I have anyone in here today. They don't have offices here. Oh, they don't? No. Um, they have day jobs. Oh, okay. Do so. Um, I can give you contact numbers. Sure. That'd okay. be great. Okay. Anything else like our city administrators here? Uh, who makes the laws? Well, between, it'd be the... The mayor, the council, city administrator all work together. Oh, the city administrator would be great then. Let's see if maybe we can start there. Sure. I haven't been told different Hi. Yes, yeah, city administrator. I am Andrew Henderson. Hey. Nice to meet you. Got a question about a law that kind of strikes me. Yeah, I do have a camera. No, I got one like that. Do you? It's an awesome camera. Um, I, I, as you know, gay marriage just passed in Minnesota, mm -hmm. right? Going through the statutes of Little Canada, I found this one a little odd. Um, any persons who shall appear in any street or public place in said city and address, dress not belonging to his or her sex shall be guilty of a misdemeanor, basically. How can we work together to change this? Because I don't think that reflects uh, Minnesota. Good. I'm sure it's an old law. I'm yeah, sure no, you, it's, yeah, it's been on the books forever. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not blaming anybody in this office no, for, no. for coming no up with it. He was accidentally in, or he's requesting to be. He, he signed up for T-ball this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he signed up for T-ball. Well, I don't. Uh, let me shoot this to the city attorney and just have him take a look at it. Okay. I mean, it, it's yeah. My it's, doesn't, it's an old doesn't law. seem real. Doesn't seem real appropriate. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It was probably a model from you know. No, wherever there was used years ago. Yeah, yeah. But let me, uh, so it's 1201. Yeah. Let me just, I'll shoot an uh, email to the city attorney and ask him to look at it, and then uh, if he has a, a better, I mean, do we even use this? It's, it's, I got it from your website. Yeah, the noise, right, yeah, that one, we're going to, we'd leave that some, that part. Right. Indecent exposure. I would think that's a state statute anyway. So 1201-020. Just you know, I'm 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 a resident of uh, Little Canada here, and I'm just sure. just kind of curious about that. And you're specifically coming about the the dress part. Yeah, right? the dress part. Yeah. So that, that, that just seems you know it's it's kind of homophobic to me. <laughs> probably. <is. laughs> well, I, 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 I mean, I have. Well, this is probably an old ordinance old seven. I'll tell you how old it is. Sure. Nineteen fifty three. Nineteen fifty three. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, it's one of the first, obviously. So yeah, yeah, I'll have him look at that. That's. I mean, you know, we probably should go through all of our. We have not, you know, gone through the ordinances. I mean, we tend to. There's probably a number of them on the books that, you know, yeah. even their apple. Applicability today is maybe questionable, but you know that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's, it just struck struck me as kind well, of. Well, hey, thanks for taking a look at it. Uh, we'll uh, we'll shoot it on. I mean, you want me to give you some information on what we do, or sure? Because what if, you know, if you change it, we're gonna, well, it'll be at a council meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we have a meeting Wednesday, but.
it won't be that one. It'll probably be our first meeting in June or, okay. you know, it, it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty basic stuff, so. Okay. But um, do you have a card or anything or? I do not. Uh, I'm, not I'm not a professional. I'm just a regular citizen. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. sure. It's uh, 651. Andrew Henderson. All right, we'll uh, do some checking and I'll let you. Do you have an email address? Sure, I do. It's I'll, show you, I'll shoot you the emails. It'll be an email, just whatever we end up doing. I'll just copy on the email. That'd be great. All right. I appreciate hey, your thanks time. Thanks for pointing sir. out. Yeah, thank you, you very much. I'd say that's a pretty successful trip to the Little Canada City Hall. I'll keep you updated on any updates I get on this issue. Have a good day. Mr. Hansen, repeal of Municipal Code 1201-020- Indecent Exposure. Well, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, a resident of Little Canada came by the office, uh, Andrew Henderson, and pointed out that in our city codes, we had uh, in section 1201 dealing with disorderly conduct, 1201.020 dealt with indecent exposure. And it read, any persons or persons who shall appear in any street or public place in said city in state of nudity or in dress not belonging to his or her sex or in any indecent or lewd dress or shall make any indecent exposure of his or her person or be guilty of any obscene or filthy act or of any lewd, indecent, immoral, or insulting conduct, language, or behavior, or shall exhibit, sell, or offer to sell any indecent or lewd book, picture, or other thing, or shall exhibit or perform any indecent, immoral, or lewd play, or other representation, shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. And the concern uh, specifically pointed out was the one about uh, you know, dress appropriate to the sex. We quickly researched it when uh, Mr. Henderson was present. That ordinance was passed back in 1953. I would uh, doubt that any citations have been issued in the last 20 or 30 years, if ever. Or if ever. Um, and there is a state statute, and we attached it, uh, Minnesota Statute 617.23, does cover indecent exposure. And so we told him we would uh, put this on the agenda to correct that. Uh, it's our position that we do not need that section, given there's a state statute to cover it. And so we just did a uh, delete of that specific section, and so that is before you tonight. You know, as I think about that, look at that. Just about any Halloween, you could have gone out and got a, given them a whole bunch of misdemeanor tickets <laughs> <laughs> at the Little Canada Recreation Association, you know, rec uh, Halloween dance. That's right. Or well, any other Halloween party. Right, yeah, <laughs> or any other Halloween party. And right. what this is probably indicative of is that our, you know, we have not gone through our municipal code in the time I've been here. We, you know, we, we've addressed ordinances as they've come up. There's probably a number of ordinances. In fact, even in this one down below, 1201.040, uh, trespass on private property, is maybe a little bit unique that the city would have that when, again, there's civil and criminal trespass set forth in state statute as well. And I'm sure there's a number of other provisions in various sections of our codes that uh, you know probably could use some attention yeah. to. And it's a matter of, you know, it, they haven't been issues because we generally don't use them. There's some that need to be updated as we've been working on our nuisance ordinance for a couple of years trying to get that put into you know, the right form. And, uh, you know, again, it probably wouldn't hurt to have the city attorney's office go through our code and just see uh, what other things could be stricken from the code because they just aren't applicable any longer. Yeah, I agree with you. I was looking, you know, in front of this and behind this a little bit. And, uh, yeah, there's some things in there that could use a little cleanup, I would, I would agree. So. And this ordinance was ordinance number seven. So it was the city's seventh ordinance ever adopted back in 53. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. But um, I, I uh, did email this to Mr. Henderson to let him know this was the proposed action. Yeah. I did not hear back from him on that email. Okay. So, but it's, you know, we don't need it. It doesn't, right. it doesn't uh, I agree. fit. Okay. So we're looking for a motion to approve the ordinance amending Chapter 1201. I'll make that motion. Okay. Okay, I'll second. 
Okay, I have a motion and a second, adopting the ordinance amending chapter 1201 uh, regarding indecent exposure and uh, it's repealing it in its entirety. So I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, motion carries. Very good, thank you. I ended up on YouTube, I'm going to be upset.